Green is presented by Pacific Solar and Photovoltaics, keeping Guam green one roof at a time. Call 632-4002 for more information. All right, you've waited long enough. It's time to wish some very special Guamanians a happy birthday. These are the newest members of our Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club. And first up, happy birthday to Joaquin Tyrell Salas from Mommy, Daddy, and the Family. Speaking of family, the family of Camelin Lazama says happy 13th birthday to Cammy. Happy birthday going out to Kyle John Salas. Happy birthday also to Ziani Tahaji. Happy birthday to Jamie Manabusin. And we never want to leave anybody out if they had a previous birthday, so happy belated birthday wishes go out tonight to Landon Lee Regis. You can be a part of the Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club. Just check us out on our website. Stay tuned, everybody. Jess is next with the buzz. Closed captioning is brought to you by IT&D. You're watching Buzz with Jess Lujan. Good evening, Guam. I'm Jess Lujan. Welcome to this edition of The Buzz. Exciting show tonight. I have former Senator Marilyn Mandibusen here tonight. Uh, I've had her on my radio talk show about three, four weeks ago, actually, talking about the same subject matter. But this is real relevant now because at the time that she was on, on my show, it was a proposed, um, uh, again, amendment to the Organic Act, which kind of acts as our uh, Constitution. But now, that since we've got a, an official, again, uh, amendment as introduced by our delegate, Delegate uh, Berdalio, uh, that uh, introduced it in, in, in the House. It's uh, House Resolution 4091. First of all, good evening, Senator. How are you doing? Good evening, Malik. <laughs> uh, I get carried away with this, these things, but it's, it's always great to see you, and, and I know your, your passion uh, uh, about this Constitution and things of that nature and our, our, uh, our, our plebiscite. And thank you again for, for um, again, uh, is accepting my invitation to... Well, I'm glad uh, to be part of a continuing conversation uh, on this issue. Thank now, you. Now, you know, my, my take in this, right, and of course uh, the people of Guam's take in, in all this is we are angry at the process on how this all happened immediately after the election and things of that, that, that nature. Now, because I'm angry at the process, I have a review process as well, which will come next year. This time next year, I would have done my review. I would have either said, hey, you know, I'm glad you did it, or I'm not glad you did it, and will retain or choose to remove, you know, based on, 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 on my ballot. It does not mean that uh, because of my, my disdain on, on the process and on, on what happened, that. I want to now relinquish my right as a citizen here in Guam um, that I vote for my representatives here in Guam that now I relinquish it to members of Congress which I have nothing to do in putting into office or removing them or when they their review process comes up that I review them I have nothing to do at all basically in essence we're, we're giving up our right giving up our democracy whether it be representative democracy or direct democracy, to somebody else's jurisdiction, somebody else's democracy. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with us. Absolutely. Your, 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 your thoughts on that? Well, first of all, um, I believe amendments to the Organic Act mm -hmm. are not new. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had several, um, I, I believe it was a former Congressman mm -hmm. Underwood mm -hmm. who made some amendments to their uh, to mm -hmm. their Organic Act. So there is a process. Mm -hmm. it, it's nothing new, but we have to recognize that those amendments were to diminish federal review mm -hmm. over something local that we consider to giving be us more power, a territorial basically. issue. Yeah, giving us giving more us power, more say -so. Local autonomy, yeah. more yeah. power, and and also um, it is identification mm -hmm. that. The matter mm -hmm. that we are amending the, orga the Organic mm -hmm. Act is something that we define as a mm -hmm. local issue. As in the case of our elected governor. That's okay? correct. Elected governor, our, our, we have our Supreme Court now. Okay. Yes. Uh, our elected AG. Mm -hmm. Okay. The and board, the board, board of, of Education. Board of, board of, board of Education right. used to be the governor, basically based on the naval governor. Basically. That's right. Now it's the government, That's which right. means all of us. Okay. So if you read this resolution, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is completely 
in contradiction with what we've been doing mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. and also the process right now mm -hmm. where the people of Guam believe that they have the mm -hmm. right to determine their mm -hmm. destiny. Now, what, I'm, know? what I'm confused about here, well, I'm, it's not confusing because I, I mean, I, I, I really understand this, but I'm confused in the sense that this one resolution, this House resolution uh, 4091, I think it is, yes, it was introduced. Now, our delegate had said, we have come to political maturity, okay? Because there are two components to this bill. Right. There's a component in this bill basically that um, removes the federal, uh, I guess, residency requirements mm -hmm. to run for elected office here, as in the governor, lieutenant governor, senators, uh, and I don't know if the mayors may be all lumped in. And I have not read the, the resolution itself. I have a number, but I have not read the resolution itself. So that being said, now, yeah, that again, as you said, <coughs> gives us a little more autonomy, okay? Correct. It's not under the federal control. Correct. We'll probably mirror that anyway. Correct. You know, we'll probably mirror that and say five years of this and this, whatever it may be. It gives us more autonomy. But on the same resolution, as she prefaced it, that we have, again, come to political maturity that we can decide. And the same token, we said we're mature in this, in, in this part of the resolution, but we're really immature in this part because we want you now, we want you to put it in federal statute, we want you to put it in our constitution, basically, the organic act, lack, for, uh, lack of a constitution that actually it's a works. federal piece yeah, of federal legislation. federal legislation. We want you to put it in there. And we're asking you to do it because we, again, don't trust our elected officials to do it, so we want you to put it in federal statute. If we want to change it later on, we're going to have to ask you whether we can change it back. And you can say no, and then we're going to have to go with that and try again some other time. That's a sad commentary. Mm. I mean, we, we the people, mm -hmm. we the people belong to this land. Mm -hmm. It is not we Washingtonians, we mm -hmm. Californians, mm -hmm. we members of, uh, in Florida, Congress. Why do we relinquish something as... Um, local as mm -hmm. uh, you know that belongs to the people of Guam mm -hmm. we are the ones that elected our leaders we should retain the right to determine the value all right and mm -hmm. and the worth of the leaders as far as salaries are concerned mm -hmm. so this whole process there's one side that says we are politically mature and mm -hmm. and I think we can determine the residency requirement of our leaders mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but on the other spectrum the other side She's saying we're not politically mature because guess what? We cannot handle our, our own pay raises. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we're going to call in an external review and subject this to what? 507 members of the United States Congress mm -hmm. that we have no, that has nothing to do with uh, with reviewing mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. value or the worth or the salaries mm -hmm. of our elected leaders. Mm -hmm. I believe what has happened down in the legislature, what's happening right now, mm -hmm. we talk about democracy. That's mm -hmm. democracy at its best mm -hmm. form. Mm -hmm. When people, when we the people can petition, mm -hmm. when we the people have a right to express mm -hmm. our opinions. Mm -hmm. So that's democracy. Mm -hmm. Are we saying now that because of a little family mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know dispute mm -hmm. that we should go call somebody else outside mm -hmm. and have them review it have them dictate mm -hmm. to us how we settle mm -hmm. our our uh, local issues mm -hmm. i mean that is really not the route mm -hmm. for self-determination and i really believe that there is a dichotomy mm -hmm. that when one sense she's saying more political we are politically mature more self-determination for mm -hmm. Guam, and then on the other side is saying, "Hey, we can't handle our mm -hmm. salary issue. Can you uh, can you make this a federal law? You don't need a federal mm -hmm. law. You were talking earlier about a process, right? A mm -hmm. process of if you don't like the actions of your local leaders, you could actually determine that, determine that every two years. That that's mm -hmm. a right. Mm -hmm. But who who is who has that right? Sure. We, the people of Guam. That's right. That Not. Is. Not the, not the senators mm -hmm. or the representatives of California, of Washington, mm -hmm. of Florida, Mississippi, or anywhere else. Mm -hmm. It's we, the people mm -hmm. of Guam. We need to maintain uh, this inalienable right mm -hmm. to determine those things. Mm -hmm. One of the things that, I'm, uh, that we need to talk about is that the good senator, the author of the resolution, mm -hmm. also included that language in, in the mm -hmm. bill 
uh, for recalling but, the pay but, raise. But, 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 but let me go back to that because actually all things being fair, of course, yes. like this, right? Uh, uh, I've got to say for, for this part, um, there was a resolution that was That's passed correct. by the 33rd Guam Legislature, Resolution 2-33, yes, introduced so. by uh, Senator uh, Sir Nicholas, okay? That was introduced. Now, it did have a public hearing, a public hearing alongside the rollback of, of, the, of the pay raises. 433, right? Uh, yeah, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that being said, and you know, whenever people come to testify for a certain bill or appointments and things like that, they sign their names in to testify for that particular bill or, or provide testimony for the appointees, whatever it may be. I have to say that resolution uh, 2-33 LS, okay, which, oh, became part of uh, House Resolution 40-91, uh, I think that, that, that is, that was introduced in Congress. Well, this is, this is exactly what, um, how many people testified in favor of, of or, or, or uh, opposed to, to, to the resolution. Well, it's, somebody it's, wrote it's, in it's, it's it, none. it says none. It says none. N-O-N-E. Yeah, none. Now, for myself, when I looked at this, and I, you know, because I researched, I looked, I looked at the, uh, the committee report, there were 200, 33 pages. It is basically consisted of testimony for or against the rollback and the pay raises. Now, to me, basically, resolution 2-33 <clears throat> for not having a constitution, an organic act, uh, working as our working document, a quasi-constitution, that's an amendment to the constitution. That's an amendment to our constitution. Now, <clears throat> Senator Sir Nicholas cites the 27th Amendment to be in concert with the 27th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. That particular amendment is the newest amendment, if I'm not mistaken, yes, to, the, to, the, to the United States Constitution. It took 202 years <laughs> for state ratification of that 27th yes. Amendment. It 202 took years, seven years? months, and 12 days. <laughs> okay. Yeah, to ratify that, uh, that amendment. It took us less than a year, again, to get this introduced in the House, and it's not going to get take two hundred and, and, and two years for the House to to pass this or not, and that basically says people in Congress, people in Congress. Now, when the Organic Act was was crafted, <clears throat> the federal document was drafted by federal officials. Basically, they said, "We'll leave it up to you to decide to decide what to do mm -hmm. with your salaries and things like that." Yes. Uh, and so, but what we're saying at this point is we're giving that up. We we, we, want, we want to give it up. We want to amend our Constitution, or the Uganda guy. Uh, we want to amend our Constitution, your document, okay, which we can amend ourselves, but we want you to amend our Constitution to whether allow it or not, or when to, to, to impose, or if we have a pay raise, when it's going to be effective. Now, again, the intent, we all agree with the intent. Our local law is intended to do that. And the crafters, our, our forefathers, our elders, our statesmen before us, they had that in mind. Did they not? But hold on a second to that thought, because I got to 